Greetings and welcome back to Dyson Sphere Program. I'm Catherine of Sky and I'm really, 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 did I say really? Excited to be playing this once again for you. We have a huge, huge update that just came down. Uh, there's a lot of new buildings. I hope you caught my other video uh, about these wonderful features because there is some cool stuff and I can't wait to to play. I'm planning on a full playthrough. Uh, that's the plan. So I hope you stick around for that because I'm going to love playing this. Also, one small announcement. I do have a brand new channel, which I would love for you to go and check out. It's called Frozen Time. Uh, we basically post documentaries about the dark, disturbing, and often tragic events that have happened in history. So I hope you'll check it out. Please subscribe if you can, because we're, you know, we've worked really hard on the documentaries. Some of them take dozens of hours each, and we cannot um, get paid for that until we have a thousand subscribers. So we'd love if you could just subscribe um, and check out the content as well. So anyway, let's get back to Dyson Sphere program. I am so excited. Also, I'm loving like the new colors here. Well, it's new to me. I don't know if it's been around, but I love this blue. It's like, wow, pretty. All right, so let's go. Let's start a brand new game. And I want to kind of do an achievement run as well. So we're going to go on half resources. Yes, I know that sounds insane, but yes, we are going to do half resources. Uh, let's kind of do a couple of random jiggles of the button here. What do we got here? That's uh, interesting. What is that? Oh, Estoratus Blue Giant. Kifa Borealis. What a funny name. I want to find a good name for our uh, place. Oh, I want to. I want it to be. Oh, Capricorn Eye. Okay. Theta Capricorn Eye. Gamma Capricorn Eye. Apparently, the Capricorn Eyes are very. Oh, dear. It's another one. Triangulate Australis. Of course, we might rename them after our wonderful patrons. Uh, and by the way, thank you, every everyone, for supporting the channel. Thank you. To especially to our patrons and channel members. Um, Y'all are really great and allow me to do what I love to do. And hopefully that entertains you. All right, I want to get some like blue ones close by to home. Um, arr, I want to combine blue with a name, a good name. Uh, apparently it's best to have the uh, neutron stars and black holes quite far away. Uh, Jewel. That's a very nice name. Uh, quite far from the starting area because you get higher concentrations of stuff. And at half resource multiplier, that might be really good. Let's go to the place called Jewel. If you want this seed to play your own game, it's 15137916. 15137916. We're going to go with 64 stars and half resource multiplayer again because there's an achievement for it. I haven't gotten any of the achievements in this game except a tiny few, which I was practicing before this run. And um, and so I did get a couple of them, but that's like really early game stuff. So we are on our way. Let's go. Welcome to the actual it is the actual universe. Let's go. <laughs> There we go. You know, I wonder what their homeland is like. I mean, are we all robot people? We could be. You know? This is cool. I like the camera work here. It's very nice. And, like, the music is very, very evocative. That's very cool. All right, it does look like we have a gas giant rather than an ice giant. That's going to make early game a little bit more interesting. That's okay. We like interesting, right? Interesting is good. So we are in the jewel system. That's kind of cool. I like that name. We are visiting these gems of planets here. We're on jewel four, I think. Looks like maybe. No, jewel three. Never mind. Okay, jewel four and jewel three. Now please drive the space capsule to the planet. Drive the space capsule. I love how you have so much faith in us that you don't even let us unlock the spaceship. We, even if we go like this, we cannot fail to drive the space capsule to the correct place. <laughs> it just doesn't happen, guy. No. Oh, I didn't know you could do that. I pressed W just there. Oh, I guess we can drive it. Never mind. I wonder if we can miss. Can we miss? I am going up now. Up, 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 up. No. Nope. I'm trying to press up. Did I, did I, am I going to miss? Oh, I am going to miss. 
Oh my gosh. Okay, I don't want to miss, actually. I would... Oh. Oh, no. <laughs> More fool me, right? <laughs> I, I, even though we did miss, we didn't miss. It happened. <laughs> That's funny. Game does not trust us to drive, and well, it shouldn't. I agree. I agree. Okay. So we have arrived. We are the mech. Yo. All right. So let's delete some of this stuff here. Sunrise is in the west. Oh, we find and land on a planet rotating on a reverse axis. Okay. That is an achievement that has been achieved already. That's so weird. I had one of those in my test game as well. All right. It does take a while to uh, get some of that down. I'm going to go ahead and queue up some trees to be deleted. This is shift right click. Uh, and you can just, yeah, he's telling us about it right now. And we can get some rocks as well as some trees. We need the trees to fuel our mech temporarily. Uh, and then we'll, yeah, let's delete all of these things. We don't need it because we have played this game before. Now, one of the important things I like to do on any map is click this thing, then press N so that I am always facing with north up. Yeah, that N resets it. Okay, let's make sure that we are there. Let's click it again. And yeah, that's about right. Okay, that's fine. Okay, so it looks like we're kind of a little bit south of the equator. Um, and that's okay. Yeah, we're 19 degrees south. That's fine. So we're right here on the world. We have some iron nearby us. We got coal, more coal. Wait. Oh, did you see that? I, I got stuck on a tree trying to collect the other tree. That was sad times. All right, let's collect these. I had that happen earlier too. I was like, what the heck? It just stands there. I'm like, this is a mech. It should be able to plow through these trees. It's not hard. Um, so yeah, anyway, let's collect a few more bits and bobs. And then while mech, oh, I can't actually move that. I can't move the camera without moving the mech because of course we're on WASD. And I like to pilot the mech with WASD. Though you can do so with right clicking. You can just like, okay, go over there. Uh, let's look around a bit. I want to see if we can find some uh, stone. We need some stone. Can I look just this away? That might be easier instead of like running everywhere. I don't see any stone nearby. Why is that? We have lots of iron up here. That's good. We have some copper. Oh, it's right here. Okay, so that's not too far away from us. That is just to the right of these uh, coaly bits. Coaly bits, yes. Okay, so we're going to start off with some tech. That's the very first thing we need to do. We're going to get electromagnetism. That's important. And we want to make some stuff here. So let's figure out uh, if we have enough stuff to make them. Yes, we do. So let's click on 10 and make 10 of these. We only have enough for five, so that means we need to... No, wait, we might have enough actually because there it is. Yep, we have enough. We have enough. I'm going to set Icarus to mining some of this manually while we look at the other things. The next thing we really want to do is automated metallurgy, basically getting smelters for ourselves. That is the next uh, thing you need to do. Okay. And we finally got some wind mines. That's great. Okay, decor is depleting of energy. Let's press C. And we can burn the wood. So I'm going to press control click to send all the wood in here. I'm also going to send some plant fuel in there because we don't really need that either. So we're just going to burn that until we get some miners doing and making. And right now I want to get a miner placed down here. There we go. And that's going to be our first miner. We might have a wind mine. There we go. Let's place the wind mine to power that. All right. So now we need to really work on getting multiple miners and wind mines produced. That is our next goal. So we're missing a lot of ore and that's where we get the ore. So we don't have to mine it ourselves as we can just do the clicky clickies and have happiness happening. Yeah. Good stuff. Okay, uh, okay, it looks like we might need some copper. So I'm going to go and put one of these brand new miners on copper. Where did it go? I think it was down here somewhere, that copper. Oh, this is a bit of a slog to walk between, isn't it? Um, wait, where did it go? Hello? I lost the copper. Help. There it is. Okay, never mind. I found it. I found it. Never mind. No need to panic. It's fine. 
there's also an achievement for getting X amount of silicon ore and, um, and the other one, titanium, out of rocks, by the way. That is a thing. Should check the Steam achievements so you don't miss anything. I haven't played since before they introduced achievements, which is very sad. I agree. Um, let's go and have Icarus mine some of this. Uh, let's see. I want to also, we need to get another one of these. There we go. We can start producing some more wind mines. I also want to produce some power poles if possible. Of course, I only have so many of those, which is not ideal. I've run out of iron ore now. So that's not good. Really need to get those going. So let's go up and get the iron ore from the thingy. Milestone wind power. Okay, so we have these things, these new things called milestones, which looks like a computer chip, you know, going through these various circuits. And they have all these different things. We have thermal power. We've got planetary logistics, more logistics, orbital collectors, energy exchangers, all those things, which I think are kind of great. Uh, it kind of gives new players like a goal to go for, I think. So that's kind of cool. Kind of, you know, you're like on the right track. You can see you're on the right track. Okay, here a thing. We'll do this and then let's make some, some of these. Yeah, let's make several of these now and then we'll make some of these. I don't know. Have I run out of copper again? No, not quite yet. Not quite yet. Almost. But um, for the next research, we need more rings and we need more uh, green chips. So let's focus on making those first. So we need 10 of each. So let's go you and then we don't have enough. We need our copper bars help. Let's take the uh, some of those and we'll go down to our copper bars. We'll put in a wind mine down there so that that it can automatically mine for us while we're away that's the the point of yeah of automatic stuff and i'm so glad we're going to get to automation very shortly okay so there we go i can like slightly mine manually until we get some more stuff going on here but in general we will kind of let's put in a couple of these thingy thingies for now. I don't want to cover this whole area with wind mines, mostly because I'm planning to put some smelting around here and I don't want to like just cover everything. It's just not necessary. Okay, so here we go. Let's take this stuff. Now these, these mines only collect uh, a little bit of copper at a time. Now then, uh, we are getting some of these things made, but mostly for the wind mines. So we need to get another 10 made. So let's see, we can make 33. This is what the numbers mean, by the way. Up here is how many you can make total with the materials you have on hand. 33. And this is our multiplier of how many we want to set up in the queue at once. You can press 1, one x 10 times or you can press 10x one time. And I usually prefer to do that. But it depends, you know, like if you want uh wind mines and you have one you need urgently then do one uh and then press it a couple of times because it'll make all the intermediates uh as you are going along rather than like make all the intermediates first and that can be useful uh sometimes okay let's go all right so we're gonna have to do some hand crafting first obviously but um we can i was gonna say yeah we can set up our smelting lines but no we can't we have no belt technology not yet oh, no sad times um but we can like out, look into stuff and see how it goes we can also collect materials i also want to set up coal mining that's important uh for our mech power so let's go ahead and put in a coal miner here and again, with a power source, I'll also put in a power pole there. Our little uh, flying robots will go and put those in for us, you which is nice. I guess I can put in a couple of wind mines here. Power and like, the power just connect them downward, Click potentially. The there we power. are. And then I'll put it. I have run out of wind mines. Oh no. Sad times. All right, so since we don't have smelting yet, we're gonna have to just do all the smelting ourselves, like in our in our beautiful mech suit. Yay, hello, nice. Now then, um, 
So we want, so our research is now working, which is great. I also want to look at getting the next stuff. So I want a basic assembler next. That's going to be in the queue next. And then we're going to get basic logistics system. Well, actually, you know what? Let's do uh, logistics first and then uh, assembling. Because I want to get those belts as soon as possible. Uh, all right. So we got smelters and we also unlocked glass smelting. So now let's create the next items we need. We need another 10 or another eight uh, computer chips. So we'll just do another 10, that's fine. And then we need 10 gears, so let's go. Of course, the computer chips, we should get extra because each of these processes produces two. So we should actually get 20 from that. All right, we can now build smelters. That is another thing we need to be building. Um, let's go ahead and queue those in our crafting queue if we can. Here we go, we can build 13, that's almost enough. Uh, let's go with that for now. And I think we also need to build some more wind mines because you can never have too many wind mines. I don't know what we're short of, let's see. We have, yeah, very little iron ore, so let's go up and get that. We're a little bit slow, but soon we will learn how to fly and be able to just glide above the plains and prairies and foresty bits and whatever the heck these are and uh, enjoy the scenery a little bit more. So let's start off by setting up our first, um, our first sets of uh, these thingies, whatever they're called, help. Uh, they are called smelting lines. There we go. Now, for the first belts, the speed of the first belts is six items a second, so we're going to need six smelters in a row, but unfortunately we don't have enough buildings for that, so we're just kind of making some. We're, we're waiting on our crafting queue, which is taking 200 seconds to make happen, which is definitely not on the ideal side of things. But that's okay, we're going to try and make it work. What we're going to do to help that is uh, basically do... Um, the we're gonna we're gonna put this stuff manually into these machines and then it will craft it for us so yay so then we just take the iron bars out and that saves us a little bit of time later but the problem is it's, it's kind of like the factorio crafting queue it's not going to reset these things however we can right click these computer chips and requeue them so that it will save us uh, in not having to do those bars because now it's only wanting you know uh copper bars so yay nice very good very good okay there we go things are happening that's looking very very snazzy very nice indeed all right, so that's happening. Okay, so now we need to refuel again. Oh, okay, we need our coal. That's why we got coal here, so that we could refuel. But we need to keep picking it up more often. Uh, because I, and of course, we can also use our very precious hydrogen fuel rods. I don't actually want to use it right now because it's so valuable. Like, we can't get any for quite a while. Uh, definitely want to keep that safe and precious. I don't even know what we're crafting. What are we crafting? We're crafting some smelters and no wind mines, and we don't have any wind mines. Darn it. All right, well, let's get some more of this stuff. And I want to get some rocks. Rocks are kind of important because you have these various, uh, like things that need stone like the smelters need stone that's pretty important and we we've already harvested enough rocks that that hasn't been a problem which is kind of great you know it's like oh okay this is cool you know we we've gotten enough that we haven't had to go to the other mining field yet okay and let's grab some of this and more iron bars yay let's see i think we're good yes okay and if we're not doing anything, <laughs> let's see what the next one wants. It wants 10 chips and another 10 gears. So let's queue those up so that there's no break in between. I don't know why that reset. I know that I did 10 gears before. That's so weird. Anyway. So, yeah, we're, we're going to get some stuff shortly with that. 
But this is a super, super easy way to, you know, just give it, give yourself a good start here with stuff and start making some of these different items. Now, let's see, we do have more of these smelters. So I'm going to go ahead and delete this power pole because I think it's in the wrong position anyway. But let's copy these. So that's four, five, six. Okay, that's fine. There we go. And we have belts. Hooray! That is a big hooray. We love this hooray. It is nice stuff. All right, let's make several. Now, remember, these uh, create three belts per craft, so we're making 30 belts each time we have 10. So, yeah, there we go. Uh, wait a second. Hold on. No, stop. I want to make... Uh, I guess we need more gears, right? Let's make 10 of those. All right, so that's, that's that going. All right, now we can make our belts. Very, very good. So... We want to take this from here and along here. So we don't have enough yet. Okay, that'll do for now. All right, and then we'll have the output. I guess the output can go on this side as well. All right, we've unlocked a basic assembly machine. Hooray. Okay, this is great. So now uh, we want to look at the upgrades. These are very important items to look at. We want to do, we can't do anything with blue cubes. we got to skip that for now. But let's do mecha core. Yes, sounds great. Uh, mechanical frame. We don't have engines yet. Inventory capacity. We don't have steel yet. These are cubes. These are, hey, we'll get this when we set up, I think, our little mini mall first. We don't have energetic graphite. Can we do anything here? I'm, I was thought we could do a little bit more. Oh yeah, this one is good. Drive engine, mecha flight. This is great. We need uh, coal and then those uh, those electromagnetic rings. So let's go. Keep on going. Anything else we can do? All right, not much else we can do right now. So it might be time to unlock the blue cubes, which is a good thing to unlock, of course. Uh, improved logistics, we get sorters, better sorters, which are always better. Um, but we don't have the blue cubes yet, so we're going to have to set up blue cubes. Okay, we now build conveyors and sorters. Thank you very much. We appreciate your uh, telling us this. Nice. And we need more of these. All right. Need more iron stuff. Let's go more, more, more. Give us more. All the things. We want more. Okay, let's take these further. And then I'm going to take uh, this one and we'll just put this kind of here. That seems okay. And let's get our sorters in. So we want an in sorter and then we want an out sorter. And when you have this kind of thing, you do not need to set them for all of them. All you need to do is press your copy key. I have it set to Q, but I think most people have it on shift. Um, I just did it on Q because it made it easier for me to like, yeah, I have that like in every game. I put the eyedropper tool on Q because I find that just easier. Okay, we are reloading our mecha with stuff, which is great. Greatness has been achieved. Greatness is real. All the things have been like coming from a fount of happiness and joy. All right, I think I'm missing something here. I might be missing. Oh, I'm actually missing iron. Okay. So this iron's going to collect on this belt. However, um, we can, well, I guess once it collects in the machines, like when the belt is too full, the machines will have more than the belt. But we're going to take stuff from the belt for now because. We have, um, we don't have enough. <laughs> we don't have enough. But there's 21 there, 30 there. Yeah, this is now good, good. I guess we, we don't really need to collect it in a box because it does collect in the machines otherwise. So let's go in and do some, some, uh, let's see. If we press F, I want to make some more of these guys because we need to have 20 for the manual research. One, two. And let's uh, cancel those as well. And then now I'm going to do a little bit more like, I think we needed some of these guys. So we'll just make a bunch of these. Um, but I do want to set up some smelting for uh, copper. Also, always when I walk by, pick up some, some coal. 
I probably would like to make a couple of more mining machines. Okay, so how do we want to do this? I think we can put in a, a smelting line in here. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and like, I'll like click these guys and then build on the fly while my, while that's happening. Let's see if we can do something like this. That seems okay. There we go. All right, perfect. You can get that other rock if you want. Go, go, go. Boom. Okay, nice. No extra fun stuff from that one, but it's okay. So let's take this. Now, to fill a full belt, I think it's something like you need 12 patches covering. Uh, like, like here we have seven veins, and I think you need 12 to fill a level one belt. Um, but if you overcap it, that's kind of where you want to be, really. Let's see, do we have more of these? We do not. All right, we need more. Hello? No, we are out of iron ore. So there is some stuff that you need iron ore for, and mainly those are the magnetic rings, uh, because the rings are not from the bars. So what are these little bots doing? Hello? Can you please put stuff in place? Hello? Go, go, go. All right, let's put in, let's see, three, four, five, six. Okay. And we can actually delete anything after that because it's completely unnecessary. There we go. Shift click to um, select the whole thing. By the way, you can do that for upgrades as well as deletions. Let's go ahead and choose the copper thingy majingies here. And then we'll go ahead and put in our sorters. Um, let's also get another belt there for sorting. All right, so input there, output here. Now you can do it any way you want, by the way. the um, You can put the belt on the other side of the smelters. It just depends how you want to do things. There is no right or wrong way to do this. Just make it functional. And by the way, I think we're going to do kind of a bash factory. I am not going to do the exacto perfect mall because I think that that's kind of a lie and you will spend hours copying my design if I do that. Instead, I would rather teach you how to work within your own uh, planet. And if you have things situated in weird ways, I want to show you how you can solve those problems. So we're going to bash things together, but it's going to be a functional, beautiful, gorgeous factory. And I think it's a much more valuable skill to teach than to copy this thing that I've made for you. I find that could to be absolutely useless to be perfectly honest. It's like, why? No, uh, not a good thing. Not a good thing to just copy other people's blueprints and stuff. I, it's just like, why, you know, might as well just not even play the game because people are playing the game for you. So we're going to, we're going to think, we're going to use our brains. We're going to have fun and we're going to do stuff on our own and it's going to be great. Yay. So let's see, we have, did I make more of these miners? No, I didn't. Okay, let's make some. I also want to make some power poles. So let's do that. I kind of wish that this was a little bit better integrated. Like you could click these to craft or something. Because like you still have to double click these to get to this menu. Sometimes things are really difficult to find here. I kind of wish they were a little bit like... Hmm, maybe differently organized or... Because eventually you just have a full grid of stuff. And it's like hard. Your eyes just kind of go everywhere with this. So yeah, it's not ideal. But anyway, I'm sure that uh, things will get improved over time or things will be kind of organized that way. All right, let's take some of these uh, this prepared stuff, all this yummy, lovely iron bars. Okay, now I have 86, uh, 86 thingies, 86 ore to make the rings out of, which we need, of course. Okay, this is working. All right, that's fine. All right. So we're we're kind of waiting a little bit on stuff. We need to, right now, we need to get this coal going. And then we need to make, of course, those iron uh, electromagnetic rings. Let's see, we want, need 60. One, two, three, because it's building two at a time. So that should be 60. 
Let's go to the coal mine as well. There we go. I'm going to build a couple of coal miners around here. Um, also, by the way, you can rotate this thing 90 degrees with R. But if you press shift R, that's how I'm spinning it around. I'm sure that there's got to be some people who are like, oh my God, how is she doing that? Yeah, that's how we're, we're spinning it with shift R and we'll get you in here as well. And it just allows you a little bit more leeway on how to kind of cover the area properly. Oh dear. Help. We need more stuff. Or the crafting queue is not always ideal. That's for sure. Okay, we finally got a power pole. Yay. So now I'm just going to walk by and pick up this coal whenever I can. And of course, any extra coal, well, we need it now, goes into the fuel chamber. When we press C, we have that ability to, to do stuff. All right, so here we are. We have, uh, we have this, which we also need another power pole for which is great. We now have stuff and we also have some prepared copper bars. Let's see, let's put in any excess copper ore into the machines. There we go. We want to keep our inventory as clean as possible because there's a lot of items and the first inventory upgrade is not until we get this uh, blue science going on. And that's what we're kind of reaching for initially right now is the blue science. So soon, hopefully we're going to get some of those electromagnetic rings done. And let's check. Let's see. What do we got going on next? We have. All right. So this is the blue, blue stuff. We're going to need. What do we need for this again? 10, uh, 10 of those, 10 greens and 10 electromagnetic rings. So let me just do another set of those 10, which is going to be 20 and then 20 of those, because again, it's going to craft double. I guess we could just do five here, but eh, it's okay. It's fine. It is good. Um, do we, we actually do have one assembler. So that's nice. What we could do is put down that one assembler and that can help us craft stuff for now. So let's just do that. So let's make it make, I don't know, these, that seems good. So I'm just going to put in, oh, wait, we still, no, I'm going to, I'm going to have it do the green things instead. Cause that's easier. Because otherwise I need to actually have some electrum or the magnetic rings instead. Uh, I don't know if that's actually, you know what, that's a bad place to put it. Let me just put it off to the side here. Somewhere. Let's see here. Sure. Yeah, that's good. This will be in nobody's way over on this side of the house. There we go. Yes, good, good, good. If anyone can tell me that reference, you will get several internet points. Um, now then, we have one smelter left. I feel like we need more of those. What are we lacking in? We have, oh, it's the probably the, the magnetic rings, which of course we have to make ourselves because somebody, and I have no idea who, yes, I really do, um, but yeah, we... We did not set up the ring making yet, and that's my fault. So we should get on that really quickly. Okay, sure. I'm going to go ahead and just connect this. And I think that should be almost correct, if not completely correct. What do we have here? This is five and this is six. Oh, all right. We're missing one. It's fine. Well, we might add one later. Um, but we need to have more making a ring assembler. And I think we need more ring assemblers than the other. Let's see if we take a, we want an output belt like here and then input can be the other side because it's more convenient that way. I'll just go ahead and one thing that I really wish that, um, so what happens is that if you click your copy button, which is shift or Q, if you're me, um, you get a copy of the machine and the inserters or the sorters. However, if you click from the menu, you get the same thing. Oops, there it is. And I don't like that. I wish that this was default no sorters. If you press backspace, you can delete them, but I don't like to have to do that. Why do I move my have to move my mouse? I don't find that to be useful. I if I wanted to copy something, I would just copy it. I wouldn't like, you know, I wouldn't do the other thing that I didn't want to do. Yeah. Mm. Okay, let's make more stuff. We are in constant need of stuff, by the way. This is a thing 
that happens. Let's get some of these belts made. So let's see, we're going to go inputting from this side and outputting that side. That is going to be our new plan. We also need to make some more smelters. So let's make 20 of those. And we might have to move this uh, wind mine. I think that's a good idea. Because we're going to have to have this belt come through here. So let's put that wind mine over there. And in the meantime, get some more of these sorted out. There we go. Let's see, rotate there and... This one, maybe we split the output of that one when we get splitters. I don't know if we have them yet. Do we have splitters? Hello? No, not yet. Okay. They come later. They come later. All right, we have no energy, so let's get our... Let's get going to the coal mine. <laughs> That's what we do. All right, let's go. I'm not the biggest fan of this, like, system. Like, you start from zero robot land. I feel like the, the designers, they wouldn't do that. They wouldn't, like, hobble you with crappy technology, right? They wouldn't, I don't think. Just collect a little bit more of this and kind of fill up as much as possible here. Of course, it's funny the way that like coal in the machines only stacks to 50, but in your inventory, it stacks to 100. I'm not sure what's up with that. I find that a little bit weird. Like I would think that this should be a full stack, uh, but maybe whoever was building these mining machines like, nope, we're going cheap. We only get half size containers. Not a thing. Sorry. So anyway, um, we also have cool stuff. We can customize our armor, which is kind of awesome. We can do things. Uh, we can do custom armor, create custom armor and, uh, and get into the, We're going to kind of do a little bit later. Oh, let's see. Oh, Mecha blueprints. Look at these cool things down here. I don't want to load one right now. We're, we're going to get to these things later. But yeah, before there was like a little color bar here, we could just change the color. But now we have different parts and pieces and stuff like that. So, um, but we're going to talk about that later. I'd rather get this mining underway. That's more important to me at the moment. So let's take this this away. And of course, we're going to need some more smelters per uh, per line because smelting for making rings is, I think it takes one and a half times as much. So these take 1.5 seconds and these are one second. That means we need, uh, half as many, as many as we, well, half as many machines as we would previously. So instead of six, we need nine to create a full belt. That's not saying we actually need a full belt. That's just saying how much, if we want to go to ratio. And we're going to go to ratio on many of the things that we're going to do. The mall is not going to be to ratio because that's not the way malls work. They work when things are needed. So let's see, that's three. Let's do another three. And then we're out of space. No. Oh, no. Oh, no. All right. You know what? Maybe this is the first part where we're not going to go to ratio. <laughs> that sounds like a great idea. That sounds like a great idea. Yes. I like this idea. All right. Let's put in a couple of power poles here as well. And then one like here, since we have these between, that will work quite nicely. Let's go, let's go. Boom. Okay, perfect. Let's do stuff. Let's go. Here we are. Uh, how is our crafting queue? Oh God. The crafting queue just takes forever. It's like, no, why help? Stop. Save us from this boredom. Uh, do we have, uh, yeah, we do have a container. That's good. Let's see. We don't have more though than zero. So let's go ahead and click that. Um, I think we just need to mind this machine a little bit more until we actually create more machines. But I think we need to do that because I feel that is hampering us significantly. 
Let's build as many of those as we can. But yeah, we have kind of a significant crafting queue at the moment. So let's see, we need over here. Ah, oh, we have wind machines. Hooray, wind mines, yay. Just go and put these in here. Good, good. There we go. Okay, fantastic. Looking pretty fancy. So here we have six and here we have six. So those are, that's a perfect amount. I think what I'll do is when we get splitters, which we don't have the tech yet, but split the output of this one to go half here and half on this side. Um, just because, you know, these veins do run out over time. We are running at half resources. Also, did anybody notice the numbers? Hey, hey, isn't that beautiful? I love it. It's like 152k here, 64k over there. This is nice. I like that the numbers are there. It's quite handy. So yay, the yay is real. Nice. All right, and here we go. We are now getting magnetic rings. So we can start to pick those up and that's going to make crafting the other bits and pieces that we need a little bit easier. So yeah, yay. Uh, we can actually even change this one if we want to. There's another 20. So actually what I'm going to do is re just replenish this because we're going to need a kabillion green chips anyway. So we might as well have something working on a crafting queue besides ourselves. <laughs> okay, here you go. Let's take these and give you more of those and just you can have everything. There you go. Enjoy. Enjoy all the stuff thing. All right, so let's get more of this. Yep, rings. We got the rings. We got the things. Rings and things. Hooray. It's like a jewelry store advertisement. Okay. So I think that this is probably going to be a great place to finish up for today. We'll get into the mech customization in the next episode. I'd really like to show you all the features of that, I think. And um, But for now, do please check out our Frozen Time channel, our brand new channel. Uh, like I said, it's documentaries. It's completely different than the gaming. So I get it if you're not into that, but if you like documentaries and stuff, I would love for you to check it out and see what you think. would love to hear all your comments and stuff. And, uh, the, the link is in the description below. And, uh, anyway, thank you so very much for joining me. Take care of yourselves and each other, and I'll see you next time.